Hello there, and welcome back to this um, project in Enterprise Java course. Um, I'm not really used to saying that, so I always have to <laughs> spend like one or two seconds to think about what exactly we're doing here. Anyway, um, so welcome back to this course. Um, last time we went over just setting up the environment that, you know, the very bare bones of our application that we're going to be using to create it. And today we're just going to go over an overview of how, of how exactly it's going to work. So, first of all, when the user first logs in, what's going to happen is it's going to ask him for his unique ID. So, essentially, like, um, we'll just call it a name, okay? So, it's going to be a name in our database. Now, if we were actually going to be creating an, a, a, a voting system application, this would be very, very um, not smart. <laughs> and so, um, since, you know, there are obviously going to be tons of people with the same name. But in our case, we're just going to be using a name, just, you know. I mean, it doesn't really matter. If you want, you can use an ID. You can just change it to a number. It doesn't really matter all that much. Um, so let's actually draw that. So we're going to, he's going to go create in our main page here. So he's going to log in and then it's going to be, you know, a box here. And inside that box is going to be um, name. Okay. That makes it a bit bigger, actually. Um name uh, with these new force touch trackpad it's, it's, it's impossible to uh, write things clearly all right there we go so name I know that's like the worst name you've ever seen um, hand drawn but you know I'm not an, I'm not an artist <laughs> okay so here we go so we have name here and then once it enters that name it's actually gonna take him to an application first it's gonna check um, if he is has voted already. So let me just put has has voted. Okay. Okay. I, 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 I cannot draw. <laughs> All right. There we go. Has voted. All right. There we go. Nope. It's okay. Has voted. Just pretend that's has voted. Pretend that does not look like a dog drew that okay all right now um has voted so then we're gonna have yes here so we just put y and then no here so let me just put no it's n all right so if yes then it's actually going to give him just a page here that says um you have voted i'm just gonna use an acronym here yhv so you have voted all right and then if not then it's actually going to give him a choice here of you know one candidate number one and then it's going to be the candidate here, whatever. And then number two as well. Um, again, so these force touch trackpads are very hard to draw with. So, I mean, track, track, track pads in general are hard to draw with, but, you know, these are just kind of weird. All right, there we go. So one, two, just two different candidates. And then you can click on the one that he wants to vote for. And then after he votes for one, it will actually... Uh, there, were, there will actually be a page. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know why I drew, drew two lines. Let me actually go ahead and delete it. Um, it's actually going to be one page that's going to take him to a different page. See, why does it do that? Why does it make the line smaller? Anyway, to a different page, and then here in this different page, what it's going to be is it's going to just going to tell him, you know, thanks for voting. D T H X. All right, there we go. So just like, thanks for voting. Okay, and then after that, um, essentially, um, if he now goes ahead and refreshes the page, you know, goes back to this address, it will actually go ahead, he can enter his name again, but this time it's gonna check and it's gonna be that he has voted, so then it's gonna, he's gonna get this YHV, you have voted page. Okay, so then there's also gonna be another page. Okay, and this page is gonna be to essentially check the results. So here you're gonna to have to enter the president password. So we should just put P and then P. So this is gonna be the president password. This is PP stands for president password. Okay. And so this is for the current president that is currently, you know, in office. He's gonna enter his president password. And then if it's right, it'll give him a page here with the results. So one got like, I don't know, some kind of um, like 50%. 50%, okay, and then two got like, I don't know, maybe, um, 
Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, it's fifty percent as well. So I mean, if 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 it's fifty, so it's going to be fifty percent. Okay. All right, and there we go. So let me go to print. There we go. All right. So I realize my drawing skills are probably in the negatives, but but I mean, I, I probably most likely you actually do have. Um, a good idea of exactly what's going on. So this is actually a very simple application, uh, but the way this course is actually structured is that applications get harder and harder as we sort of move on. And so this, that's why this application is sort of pretty uh, pretty simple. All right. Okay, so now that we have our diagram, um, the president password will actually be inputted, um, you know, into the database directly. So we're going to check for it. And then um, perhaps even after this, uh, after we're done, we're going to actually implement so that it would use a social media account of the president and then send him the password that way. Now, I realize this is nowhere close to, you know, how elections are done, not to mention the fact that elections really aren't done through computers, since that would, that's a terrible idea, since, you know, hackers. But, um, yeah, generally speaking, that's essentially what we're, what we're going to be doing in the first sort of project in Enterprise Java. So, we're going to have a page where you're going to enter a unique name for our you know, citizen of the country. Then it checks if he has voted already. If yes, then it gives him a you have voted page, so you cannot vote. If no, then it um, gives him two options to vote from. And then after that, uh, it goes ahead and um, goes to a, like a thanks for voting page. Um, and then after that, if he tries to vote again, it'll give him that you are have already voted. Um, so he cannot vote again. And then also we, we have a president page where the president can go. And in that president page, you have to enter a president password. And then um, that president password, um, it'll give you the results of the vote. So yeah, so pretty simple stuff, nothing too difficult. Again, Apple, these um, projects will get harder and harder as we go. So this one is actually pretty pretty simple. Um, probably it's going to take like, maybe maximum two lessons to do, maybe three, I'll see. All right, so anyway, um, that's pretty much all we're going to do. Um, no homework today, just... Uh, I guess watching this video is enough. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you next time when we're actually going to start building our application. Till soon.